Hello everyone, Mila here, and welcome back to Yakuza Kwame Line. On for another round of side quests, but we're going to start with Majima, because the side quests I prefer to do in these games are the ones that make my character more powerful and such. And I'm about to be attacked by people, so let's just do this. Oh sir, I've heard a lot, I've heard a lot about you from the Majima family. Yeah, I'm here to see him. Obviously not going that way. Which way am I going then? We're here. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Majima on the pole. Doya <laughs> Kiruchan. <laughs> What the heck? <laughs> this Majima being Majima. Welcome, Kyu chan So, did I get you pumped up? Uh? Yeah, right. If I'd known you were just going to fool around like you always do, I wouldn't have come. <laughs> oh, so you thought you'd get to see some hot ladies? Oh, Kyu chan uh, Is that really what's on your mind? Yeah. Th that's not it. But could you honestly call a dance like that appropriate for someone's welcome back party? Huh? What? Are you dissatisfied with the entertainment? I tell you what, tonight you can touch the dancers all you want. Uh? I wouldn't touch you with a ten-foot pole. I'm out of here. <laughs> what? Wait. Are you saying you can't accept my welcome back party and the entertainment I provided? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Even if it, even if it means I lose face over it? Don't be ridiculous. I never should have had a welcome back party in the first place. I decline the sentiment, with all due respect. Yeah, then you're prepared to face the consequences? So be it. I'll make sure you pay me back tenfold for all the expense I've gone for, to for you. Let's do this. It's showtime, yeah. He's just constantly making up reasons to fight. <laughs> That's all he wants to do is fight. Everything he does is an excuse to fight. <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen, but I'm glad I got that move. Break guards and all that. Take a seat! I'm gonna do that. Beat you with these plastic chairs. I seem to be plastic anyway. Aha. Sorry, I was prepared. Oh, you want me to do it again? I'll do it again. That was a quick fight. So, how was it? Super steamy, right? Uh. Yeah, that was the kind of dance I'd never get to enjoy while I was behind bars. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Dancers need an audience to really get them going. Oh, there's just nothing spicy about it. But you must not, eh? I know this is a little late, but I'm grateful that you thought to welcome me back. Despite your methods. Screw that. I ain't wait for you to get out or pull off a stunt like this for your darn gratitude. I just wanted a serious fight. Besides, ten years on a murder charge ain't, ain't anything. It's a walk in the park, especially compared to him. Who? Mm -hmm. Forget it. Show's over anyway. See you around, Kiryu Chan. Uh, defeat Majima ten times. As usual, he shows you a glimpse of someone serious and goes right back to his usual self. Or his essence of mad dog world. Well, that takes care of that. Now, let me out of here. Uh, so, uh, that should have ranked up Majima, and I just heard him call out, so he's around here somewhere. Ah, excuse me, sir. You there. Um, are you talking to me? Yes, yes, I am. What do you want? Not to intrude. 
My name is Practitioner of Palmistry, and the aura of your hands compels me. May I see them? I've been burned one too many times with this kind of thing. I'm not interested. Didn't expect to run into a side quest. But hey, that's fine. Oh, no, 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 sir, please. It would only take a moment. You're really starting to pester me. I won't even ask for money. This is purely to satisfy my burning curiosity. Please, show me your hand. Fine. If it means that much to you. I was going to agree to it anyway. This is side quest time. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now, let us see where these lines lead. Hmm. Ah. And? You have a stubborn streak. But it's also kind of a burning determination in its own way. Ah, could this be... Ben. But what? There's a sign of struggle etched along these lines. This isn't looking good. Does a recent hardship ring any bells? I've had my fair share of hardships, but hasn't everyone? That's pretty vague. Well, they gotta be incredibly vague, because if they can't be specific, because it's all a big scam. The palm rating is not real. Too vague, you say? Then we must go deeper. May I see your palm once more, sir? I must see this through. Sure. But wait, there's more! The creases here portend a breath of fresh air. Has a new meaning blown into your life on the winds of change? Win yeah, the winds of change? A new meaning. Aruga, maybe? Ah, whew. I think that was more descriptive, right? You, you, you gotta keep it vague, that way it can apply to anyone, is what these supposed psychics do. They can't be specific. Like, oh yeah, you are you walk into a place, you're a psychic, you shouldn't have to ask me what I'm there for, or my name or anything. You should already know. You're a psychic, you read minds, right? No, they can't. It's all a big scam. You can see all of that in my hand. I mean, some recent events like those do come to mind. Not everything is perfect, but you got pretty close. Well, yeah, if, you, if you're just vague enough, then it'll apply to basically anyone. Go, go to find someone in your audience and it fits. Naturally, sir. Based on what I've read in your palm, I have some news that will literally change your fate. Sounds pretty dramatic. But it's gonna cost you money! If you have a few minutes, I can change your life. Uh, well, this is side quest time, so let's hear it. Uh. Maybe I can change my life? Let's hear it. Uh. <laughs> a wise choice, sir. Someday you'll look back on today and wonder how you ever lived before it. Right this way, please. <laughs> My name is Nakaya from the Society of Saints. And this is our society's dean, Iwata-san. <laughs> it is an honor, sir. Uh. I'm Kyuyu. Uh. You know, Iwata-san here has led an incredible life. He sequestered himself in the mountains of Basque, medita meditated with the local monks, and has returned to Japan to share the mystical powers he acquired here. He's a demigod. Yeah. No, no, you flatter me. I'm only a mortal man of some enlightenment. The monks call me Madari Bakatsu. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Nani. <clears throat> Mara, what? <laughs> it means peaceful pair. No need to remember it. I, I see. Fiyu-san, I apologize if this is out of the blue. But do you believe in fate? Fate? Eh. Yes. The belief that events are set in stone. That certain things are preordained to happen at certain times. <laughs> nope. I've always believed you forge your own path in life. Maybe when I was younger I fell into that trap once or twice. But I'm sure it's since then, yeah. I got the same view as Kiryu. If, if, it, if everything was set, then there is no free will at all, because you're going to do these specific things no matter what. You, you don't have any choice. Then there's no free will. It's like when people say, uh, oh, uh, God knows absolutely everything that's ever going to happen, then free will doesn't exist. Perhaps you should have trusted yourself then, because in truth, every chance encounter, every thought of fate on Earth and within the universe, is controlled by one God. Oh, I... How did it... <sighs> you don't say. <laughs> I didn't expect it to actually go to God. <laughs> I, was, I was just making a reference to the stuff I encounter all the time. You don't seem clearly convinced. Let's assume that for the sake of argument that is true. With that in mind, what if he told you that a person's fate could be changed? Isn't that we have the power to alter the future? Would you be interested? Mm. I see you're crazy, but I'll hear you out, I guess. <sighs> Of course. No man alive could resist that kind of power. I notice there's Christmas music playing in the background. Well, the game takes place around that time period, so... 
Now this between us, if you have the power we possess, you too can weave the strands of fate to suit your will. What? Yes, the Society of Saints is a warden of a mystical art to view the world differently, to see life itself through rose-colored glasses. Rose-colored, so you see things the way you want to see them, rather than the way they actually are. Sounds like a religion to me. Hi. Or a certain side of politics. Yes, by donning the talisman imbued with a piece of ancient ore known as Lifestone, the cosmos themselves will surround you with happiness. Top level athletes, famous politicians, even award winning movie stars, all owe their, su their success to this wondrous artifact. This is just a big scam or a cult. That sounds pretty incredible. Hey. It was none other than Awadasan himself who discovered it. He did? Hey. Indeed, I guarantee that Lifestone's positive energy is real. Hmm. You claim this would bring happiness and a rose-colored view on life, but I think that's all pretty vague. Very well then, if happiness is the question, did you hear the news that Momoka-san, the celebrity pop idol, is kind of engaged to a normal everyday citizen? What are the chances of a celebrity falling in love with some everyday salary man from the city? Well, you can't control who you fall in love with, so I'd say it's pretty high, actually. How could he have manipulated the threads of fate to see his dream realized? Random chance. Could it be thanks to the stone? Hi. Yes! You're exactly right! The stone brought them together. That's kind of amazing. Don't be falling for this, Kiryu. It's clearly a scam. Isn't it? For my next example, how about someone who's more familiar to both of us? I'm referring to me, of course. I mean, you're making these claims, but can you back them up with actual evidence? Let's actually search it. I mean, this is the internet age and all that. Should be able to look at my phone and actually find this stuff, see if it's how true it is. And even if it is, it doesn't mean what you're claiming is true because it's based on your stone thing. I used to be down on my luck cleaning solutions salesman, but after getting the life stones power, well, look at me. <laughs> I earned 10 million yen in just one month. When was the last time normal people could earn that? I can earn that just by beating people up on the streets. They attack me all the time. Hey. I got almost a million in right now. Yes. That's why even a pebble with a life stone can bring about great change. Whatever you wish for will be yours. So, have I made a believer out of you? Uh, uh, maybe? Then, Kiryu-san, we'd like to offer you the opportunity to buy this talisman. Well, certainly 500,000 yen will take down the 99,000 yen. You'll never find that another investment as lucrative as this. What? We can't put a price on happiness, but we just did. First step, fulfilling life is in your wallet now. No amount of money would be too great, right? To attain success in life, love, and laughter, one must take a leap of faith. Uh, no, faith is what people is what people say when they have no evidence. You just gotta have faith, which means you have no evidence to prove that your claims are true. Who knows? It can pay itself off before you even know it. This is a huge discount I'm offering only to you because of your incredible aura. Uh, of course, you'll see this to anyone because oh, it's a discount. It, it, this is your time to get it now before the price goes back up. FOMO. Again, this could change your life. <laughs> so, how about it? It's a giant scam. Yeah. I'll pass, I think. I don't need it. But, sir, you could be viewing life through rose-colored glasses for eternity and just one easy payment of 99,000 yen. This is truly a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I can get that yen back immediately, but... Mm. can't force you. You'll be sorry if you let it slip. No. Yeah. No, I really don't want it. Huh? Sir, I really must say... After we went through all this trouble to explain this to you, you're just going to turn us down? You, sir, are one rude man. Here, here. Awadasan does have a point. Not everything that sounds too good to be true is too good to be true. You really would be turning your life around. Ow! <sighs> I told you, there's no way I'm buying this. Are you certain, sir? You've listened to us so patiently thus far, you must be intrigued. A horrible fate could befall you if you don't jump on this chance. <laughs> Could be worse than it already is. You'll live to regret this. Hello? I'd like you to pummel this Yakuza looking type that's walking about the shop right about now. Oh, yeah, I'll. I'll yeah. It is just a big scam to get money. Uh? Hey, you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you. I'll say you're giving us evil eye just now. You trying to curse us with your crappy luck? Don't even think about ignoring us. It's your unlucky day, because you're going to have to die. 
Let's take a palm reader to figure out you want to fight. Are you ready or what? Hell yeah! You don't take kindly to people trying to pass off curses. Uh? Close your eyes and pray for a quick death. Like, like, oh, so yeah, you didn't do it? So this is what happens when you don't do it. This is, this is why you should have gotten it. These are the bad things happen to you if you don't give us all your money. I know a scam when I see one. Yeah! Good. Was that really the best you had? Uh, I'm sorry. It was Nakayaka. Or... Uh, Nakaya. He paid me to do this. Wait. He's the one paying you? Uh, yes. He said he had a lucrative scam going. And all you need to do is pretend to be the leader of some society and he'd do the rest. Huh? Don't tell me where he is. You're going to get real familiar with my palms again. Hey! I'm sorry. But please take this and my apologies. 5,000 yen. I don't need yen, I need useful items. Do the Smile Burger on Nakamichi Street. If you want answers, he's the one to talk to. Your Smile Burger? This guy won't be smiling for long. I just heard uh, Majima again. Gotta figure out how to trigger him. There's gotta be some way to make him spawn in and go after me. Oh! Let's <laughs> come out of the trash can! <laughs> I was looking for Majima, he happened to be in the trash can! He <laughs> just pops out like Oscar the Grouch! <laughs> Dance up, Majima! This is why I wanted to, uh, go for the rank up event first, because then I could have more Majima fights. <laughs> I want him to be able to show up whenever. I want the upgrades he gives me. The, the, the things I want to focus on is stuff that benefits me in combat and such, and Majima certainly does that. Beat you with a bike! Okay. Want Kwame then? Take a Kwame. Yeah, you didn't have enough health left for that to matter. Stay on so darn calm even after a surprise attack. That's a Kiryu Jan I know. I thought you were just going to be watching me. You didn't have a good reason for attacking me out of nowhere like that. <laughs> what are you whining about? I had to see for myself what you could do when you're expecting to stuff at the fan. It makes no sense for saying I can't let my guard down ever. Exactly. So what should my next surprise be? <laughs> I'm up here. Rank D. Rising Sweep Reborn. Learn 10 Dragon of Luigi abilities. Now, what was the other place I was going to go? Oh, yeah, I wanted to go to the, uh, the arena. Hey, Majima. I heard the call out. I immediately went for him. Uh, get the same dialogue and just fight Majima again. I like how the, the Ujima sensor, so I always know he's around. He's like, Give you a chin! I suddenly hear, although you know Majima's nearby. Ooh. I had to hurt. <laughs> the life bar keeps getting bigger and such, of course. Breaker Majima again. Uh, he's like a traffic cone, but it's not doing me any good. He's dancing. Yeah. 
beat you with a pot of plant. I was going to the arena and Majima showed up again. Sure, I have the heat when he does that again. Not if I don't use it. You give me those EXP bars. I need a lot of 50s to get anywhere in my EXP recently. <laughs> and I have trouble filling my health bar. I like to go get some food, but my health bar is so big at this point that it takes, it takes multiple uh, trips to a restaurant to actually fill it. Would you like a side of a Jima with that? <laughs> I, I, instead of going straight to the uh, arena, I decided to wander around and grind a bit. I ran into Majima a couple of times on the street as random encounters, as you do. And then I decided to get healed up at the Smile Burger here. And <laughs> apparently I wanted to the side of Majima. <laughs> Nanny. What the? Majima-san? <laughs> what a coincidence, Kyu-chan. I didn't beg you for the type to eat at these places, Majima-san. You really think you're catching at some stuffy restaurant? Junk food is a source of my power. <laughs> Besides, here I can order a combo that comes with a fight against Kyu-chan. Talk about extra value meals. <laughs> Where did you get that idea? I have no intention of fighting you, Majima-san. What? This is right here on the menu. Smiles, free. Kyu-chan, free. Yeah. It doesn't say that. Huh? I'm getting kind of hangry here, so stop arguing with the menu and come outside. I'm talking to you, Kiru-chan. So to fight in here. It would be really bad. Guess I have to fight him outside. Yeah, you don't want to fight in a restaurant. <laughs> but I was running a smile burger, not with the side of Majima. <laughs> and while I was running around, I did run into him in the trash can again. And I just am wandering the streets. And since I'm at the Smile Burger, I figure I'll go after that other guy who ran here, too. There's a giant traffic cone. Why use this? The other thing I realized was it's, a spe it's probably a special arena battle, not a story based one, which means I might not be able to use healing items. I mean, you know how good I actually end up properly playing the game. I, I never use the moves and everything, I just stick with basic combos the whole time, because I always forget the moves. I really forget they exist and all that. But that's that's normal for any game I play that's like this, so... Just standard fare. So I'm probably not going to do very well in the arena battles. I'll have to wait until I'm just a stronger overall and all that. Bigger health bar and all that stuff. Now I'm a satisfied customer, just as I thought. Having huge on the menu is better than food. <laughs> And you'll be needing seconds, I take it. Uh. You're right. When I start feeling the hunger again, you better give me the Kiru Shan special. Except next time, I want to go large. <laughs> Can't go anywhere with it. But you must went home without eating in the end. But I wasn't expecting to get attacked while I ate. Better keep my guard up, even when I least expect it. Uh, 
Hey, you see, I'm at the next rank up mission already. But that's fine with me. If I get the message that what what to do with him next, I'm gonna happily do it. But now let's see what this guy since he's here. That's a lifestone guy. And he's up to his same tricks. Good. Hey, you. Huh? Ah, you you're. Can you predict why I'm here? Uh, yes, actually. Yikes! I'll give you twenty thousand yen and this lifestone. Huh? Quit fooling around. You want to do this the hard way? Fine. Let's go, stupid. You want to just fuck Majima right in front of you? You're you're just a menacing dude. The main threat I've got in this game is the story bosses and, of course, Majima himself. So yeah. I'll never do this again, I swear. Some people buy into this stuff pretty easily, you know. And you're just exploiting their fears. It's repulsive. <laughs> Only global fools will fall for something so stupid. Huh? Sounds like you still got enough of that lifestone's energy to spare. Shall I beat it out of you? <laughs> so, sorry, I'll give this to you. So come on, let me go. 30,000 yen. Lifestone. Ah! <sighs> I knew that was some shady business. Seeing life through rose-colored glasses is a choice, not some product you can buy. Life will always have ups and downs, but if you don't have the bad parts, we'll never appreciate the good ones. Oh yeah. That was an EXP. Now, last time I got uh, 50 EXP bars, I just spent them to make my health bar bigger. Probably do the same thing next time if there's one available. Uh, here we go. After I beat up a shiny suited rich dude. Hello? Are you there, Kiryu san? You see from the Majima family, right? What's wrong? D please, hurry. We need you at Senryu Avenue. If you don't come, the boss will be in deep trouble. Wait, boss! Boss, no! Hey, what's going on? What happened to Majima san? Sounds like Majima-san actually needs help. Apparently he's on Senryu Avenue. I better make sure I'm ready for anything before I head over. Yeah. Well, let's go take care of this. What do you got for me? Isn't this the place Najita mentioned? Wait, is that Majima-san? He looks ill. Uh, yeah, he kind of does. But knowing him, it's all a big setup. Oh. <laughs> He's a zombie. <laughs> zombie Majima. Hmm? Oh, what the? Ah! Dang it, let go of me! Ha! <laughs> ha! What the hell is going on here? S sir are you okay? Nishida? What the hell is happening? What happened to Majima-san? The boss has turned. He's a zombie now. A zombie? What do you mean? Zombie Majima is more powerful than ever. If he bites you, he'll turn too. It's too late for me. <laughs> what? Wait, tell me how this happened. I don't need zombie outbreak suddenly. If you want to survive, run! The Majima family is infected, and we're all over Kamarucho. Ah! Zombie! Ah! Help me! What are those screams? Are you guys hurting people? Ah! Majima son became a zombie? No way. Is, is it Resident Evil? Jima-san, snap out of it. Put yourself together. Err, Kyuyu-chan. My words don't seem to reach him anymore. At this point, it would be a mercy to stop him. 
I have to, before he puts the whole city in danger. <laughs> Zombie Majima! Oh, another version of the guy. Back the head, right? I should have pulled out a gun and just shoot him in the head. Haha! <laughs> oh no, I'm fighting a zombie horde! <laughs> Have a bottle. Oh, I didn't even use a bottle, I just stomped. I just jumped it down from everywhere. Oh, broken bottle. Fighting is far too interesting of a pastime for these people. They always get around to watch. I mean, they did it in the first game, they're still doing it now. Look got this bike. I'm so slow, I'll lose my heat meter, but anyway, I'm a Jima again. You know, proper Mortal Kombat uppercut instead of flying into the sky. It's certainly not fighting like a zombie would. And it's obviously all this is set up by Majima to have some fun, have an excuse to fight. That's all it ever is. Alright, go on me, I'll do it. Ah, I wanted to finish you up with a bike. No healing from you. I did not expect to fight the zombie horde in Yakuza, but why not? And the series is pretty over the top when it comes to silly things anyway. The story being super serious and side stuff being super silly. Kinda like Saints Row did. Well, it went, it went full of silliness starting at 3, but... We're gonna talk about that even though I own two, but I haven't really played it. Because it, it wasn't working so well. It, it was running at like 500 FPS or something when I tried to play it. I finished three and four though. I'm gonna just punch you a lot. The great coat you got there. Uh, or Mishima! I really gotta... Oh, well, nice. Uh, that, that thing took me like 500,000 to repair. I found out even if it breaks, I can still just repair it. It, it looked like I dropped it to shatter. No, I can still do it that way. I 
Don't I literally have a gun, though? Yeah. Oh, is this a model gun? I need a shooter. <laughs> oh, I'll get that ammo reloaded now, but. Oh, I was shooting him, he was recharging health. I just finish you off now. Oh, that wasn't enough. How about a sign? Today's menu is Majima. <sighs> you did it, sir. You took down all the zombies. Yeah. I'm just glad I avoided being turned into a zombie myself. Wait, you're okay? I thought you had bitten to become a zombie. Huh? Well, about that. <laughs> Everything went just as planned, Kyu-chan. Yeah, you're practically invincible in zombie form. How many times am I going to have to bury you? Wait, what do you mean, just as planned? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? The zombies even do... Whatever the hell this dancer doing is. <laughs> this is the guy he the guy from Yakuza Zero is doing this dance. Guy that is nothing but his underwear. I don't need to see my Jima doing it now. Ah, yeah, right. I ain't a darn zombie. I'm alive and well. What's going on here? I wanted to surprise you, Kiryu chan. So this time I got the whole Majima family in on the act. Wait. What? See, we were having a brainstorming session about how to get you to take the take a fight seriously. You had the zombie flick on in the background. Then it hit me. Huh. We hired a crap ton of extras and some makeup artists and movie biz, and we had ourselves a little epidemic. <sighs> so this is all just an elaborate plan of yours? I can't believe how much of my time you just wasted. <laughs> no way, man! You got any idea how much this stunt costs? I practically went through a whole B-movie budget! <laughs> Hell, I did have cameras rolling. Maybe I can cut it up and make a real B-movie out of it. <laughs> or maybe I can start a professional flash mob. The Flash Majima! <laughs> now I'm dreaming. Thank you, Chad. Huh? Yeah, and I'm still waiting to wake up from this nightmare. Huh. Oh well, I lost a fight. But I'm glad I got to see Kiryu Chan take himself so seriously. That's so? Anyway, I gotta come up with some more fun stuff for you. Hope you're looking forward to next time, Kiryu Chan. I can't believe he went this far just to stage a fight with me. Jima's conviction for fighting is real. Maybe even I can learn from that. Dragon's heat gauge. And now I can actually get heat while I'm doing while I'm using Dragon of Jima. Good. Now I can actually use the the form. Huh? Hmm? Hmm? Ah! Oh no! 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 Huh? You just stepped on my contact lenses! Many. Oh, is that the noise I just heard under my foot? Yeah, it was! What do you think I was looking for down on my hands and knees, you big oaf? Yeah. Listen, I'm really sorry about that. Huh? You think an apology is just going to magically make it all better? Those are custom made from Germany. I was gonna say, contact lenses are kind of expensive, aren't they? Many. You serious? How am I supposed to see now? I think you need to cough up about 200,000 yen to buy my replacements. I have that, but... I spent too much on uh, repairing that knife, and now I've got to go back to the uh, shine eventually. Probably sooner rather than later. That's going to cost a lot too, so I can't afford this. 200,000! feel bad for breaking his contacts, but that price is absurd, even for a special order. No. Sorry, but there's no way I'm giving a stranger that much. Huh? You aren't going to pay? Well, then I'll make you pay. All right, street thugs. Yeah, 
I might use a uh, dragon fighting style a lot more now. Because they can generate heat. And it's similar to Brawler anyway. Boy. Hey, you seem to be seeing just fine. Hold up. Uh, um. Hmm? Hmm? What's the matter? Yeah. Well, well it's just... Did some punk this kid just accuse you of stepping out his contact lenses? Hmm? Yeah, actually. I knew it. I think that guy's scamming people, mister. Nanny. Really? I gave him everything I had on me, too. <sighs> God, I'm such an idiot. That bastard. Good. Hey. Uh, yes? When you got scammed, was it around here? <laughs> yeah, yes. Not far, actually. This must be his hunting ground, then. Check back later so I can put an end to this. Yeah, if this is the kind of thing he does, and I'm gonna go after him. Yeah, he's back here. Ah! Oh no, 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 no! Those are my contact lenses you just stepped on. Those are imported from France, you know? Oh, it's France this time instead of Germany. You need to give me 200,000 yen to meet. Wait, wait a sec. You're... Oh, you should drop your contacts again. You really should be more careful with such expensive eyewear. Besides, I thought you said they were from Germany. Fine, you win. So the truth comes out. Yeah, now you can be the one kissing the pavement. All right. Ah, I'm sorry. Good. So, how's your vision doing? Uh, oh, I'm seeing 2020 now, sir. It must have been your delicate touch. Uh, here, take this as my thanks. 20,000 yen. Yeah, I sold a bunch of stuff, so I got a bunch of yen now. I'm really sorry about everything. Take care of that. Just a better watch where I'm stepping from now on. Hey, 5,000 EXP. 104 EXP bars. Wait, 10 sub-stories. Oh. My team was wandering around again. Uh, anyway, yeah, I just remembered, I got... I was asked not to just do, uh, sub-stories, but also play some mini-games. But I was also waiting for the time when uh, Majima might show up during the mini games. I heard he does that. And I got a text message saying, or an email, whatever, saying that Majima's going to start showing up at games. So, speaking of, here's Umbler right here. So let's do this real quick. And then go play a mini game or two. Huh. So it, wasn't, it actually wasn't him. Well, let's go find a minigame to play. How about some karaoke? How many will it be? For one. Ah, great. Please follow me. Karaoke is a rhythm game where you press stuff shown on the screen of the song. Simply press it and the cursor reaches it. Make sure to press it at the right time. Yeah, it's the exact same thing. Hmm, what should I pick? I score. What is this? Shows my high scores. I'm surprised the names are all like the developers. That's kind of only what you see on the scoreboards. Or maybe it is, and just don't know. Well, at least there's a bunch of different songs this time. I only have like two in Yakuza Zero. All right, let's see what happens when I do this. Whether Majima shows up or not, it's worth trying some mini games out. How much we fail? Bat. Meguru kisetsu, kizamu tokei 
We got a very bad score here, no doubt. I was always here pushing wide the whole time. I wasn't even holding A. I completely failed. I can see it showing like the story of Yakuza Zero though. But yeah, that is a complete and utter failure. I did pretty good in Yakuza Zero. Does it call me? Uh, not so much. Yeah, those are probably better days for the two. My horrid score. Oh, I, I actually did better than I thought I would. Get 900 plus in tonight. Well, I did not get 900 plus. I'll try another song. And then I'll go find something else to do. See how hard I feel this one too. such Looks like I'm in prison. If I look at the background, then I'm failing at the mini game. <laughs> Weaponize the vegetables. Twenty. I gotta get 900 plus in order to really get anywhere. Your time is almost up. Would you like to extend your time for 500 yen? Nah. Understood. Please bring the microphone to check back to the front before you leave. Yeah, two songs is fine. Thank you very much. Now what? Just walking around and more stuff happens. Oh, excuse me, mister. Would you like some matches? Uh, matches? Yes, matches. If you smoke cigarettes with these matches, they'll burn smoother and taste better, I think. That doesn't make sense. One match box costs 100 yen. Hmm, selling matches in nature even lighters are cheap? Well, it's not asking for a lot, so I guess I'll buy some. I'll take one box. Wow, really? Thank you. Okay, I got matches. So tell me, 
Why are you playing the little match girl in this day and age, anyway? I'm a little too old to be a match girl. Still, it is kind of odd how similar this is to the story, isn't it? Yeah. No, I wouldn't call it odd. But I can't help but wonder why you're selling matches and lighters are so cheap nowadays. I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> so your family business is running a match factory. Hi. Yes. Well, we call it a factory, but it's really nothing more than a small workshop my parents own and operate. So now you're out here selling what your family made in the freezing cold. You must be a very hard worker. Yeah, you're cold, and then look at your top, you're not wearing all that much to keep yourself warm. Yeah. Not exactly. I'm actually doing this for myself. I'm not that hardworking at all. Mm. What do you mean? For the first time in forever, I've fallen in love. All I want to do is give a Christmas present to my new flame. Oh. Mm. I see. So you're trying to earn some extra money for a gift. Hi. Yes. My family's so poor, I don't have any money to spare. But we do have lots of matches. <laughs> I took a basket full without telling my parents. Is that so? I hope you can earn enough money for a present. If I use this box up, maybe I'll buy some more from you. Thank you. Oh, may I ask your name? I'm Kiryu. Kiryu-san. My name is... Noemi Machida. Something like that. Pretty sure I pronounced that wrong. Hopefully I'll see you again sometime. Uh. You too. I'm just trying to get some money for a Christmas present. Oh, hey, it puts me right here. I got the sake for this drunk. Mm -hmm. I was meaning to give it to this guy. You got some sake for me, big man? Yeah. <sighs> Maybe I can find you some. <laughs> uh, sorry to be such an incur... incur... brother. Here. Hand it over to the sake. Guy is clearly plastered already. Look how red his face is. Woohoo, I just ran out, too. Bottoms up, then, eh? Ah, whew! Got some bite to ya! <laughs> this stuff really brings it back to life, you know? Wanna swig? Uh, no. Yeah. No, I'm good. <laughs> that right? That was more for me, then. Uh. Oh, yeah. Here. This is for going out of your way to give me the sake. Might look good on ya. A worn out coat. I'm gonna savor the flavor of this drink a bit. Hmm. Don't overdo it. Yeah, you don't want to get too drunk. I mean, he's already clearly pretty plastered, though. I played the uh, batting mini game in Persona 5. Why not Yakuza? Welcome. We offer prizes depending on your score. Would you like to take a look at what items we have to offer? Yeah, let's see what you got real quick. Metal bat, baseball shirt, tough to slate, pocket tissues. I'm sure I'm going to get the pocket tissues. Yeah. I'm sure I'll get the pocket tissues no matter what, because I'm going to play terribly. You can be sure of that. We got her done for one game of the hard course. Uh, no. What's the early, what's the starter course? This is like it's broken. We got our course. Yes, what are the rules? Let's stick to aim. A to swing the bat at just the right time. Points are added to your score by hitting the target with the ball. Ooh, well, let's see how terribly I do. Very, very terribly, I'm sure. Like, what? It just... Like, this this is weird. Mm. Yeah, it just automatically shoots up to the top and such. targets and such a hit looks like and I'm gonna constantly not be able to do that. 
Oh, I, I actually hit that one pretty far. <laughs> At least I'm hitting them. I'll take hitting them over not hitting them. Yeah, this is very similar to the Persona 5 minigame. <laughs> Wait, why not? But I know I'm going to constantly and I hit the targets up there and all this stuff. I thought I missed. I like how it looks like there's actually a picture there, even though it's just a machine. Huh. I want to be able to hit the picture, though, and actually see him react, even though it's just a video. <laughs> I went way too early there. <laughs> yeah, just hitting the ball is good enough for me. <laughs> so there's a proper way to do it and all that, and I just don't know what that is. I'm not going to worry about it either. Uh, I thought they wanted to go higher. It started to go high, then it didn't. Yeah, zero points. I'm hitting them, but that's all I'm doing. I'm not actually doing anything with them. Yeah, I said I get that. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know where to start with playing this properly. Alright, I parked myself next to where the story continues at because I'm going to stop here and continue with the story next time. So thank you for watching and I will see you there.